Yo, how's it going, mis comadres y compadres? It's your favorite legal alien back at it again with a brand new fresh video. So this situation that's currently happening right now as I'm speaking, well, um, it, it, it just came out. <laughs> Finally, bro, I get to talk about something recent for once, which speaking about ovens and food related stuff, I really want me a torta. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I really want me a torta so I can shove it up on someone's butthole, especially hers. Now, before you guys lash out at me, this is my way to show people my respect for them and um and and, and that I like them. And um, with that being said, I'm pretty sure you guys know this whole black and Chinese trend going on on Twitter. It has propagated itself across all social medias like a virus. The person responsible for doing those Photoshop pictures is an account called Pilgrim. He pretty much photoshops every person in existence, turning them black or Chinese, which it's pretty much looks like it's the only good thing this guy knows how to do. But today, we're not going to be talking about him. That's just context for the video. So about a week ago, Pilgrim posted a photo of Pokimane, black or Chinese. As you can see, she became Chinese and got ninja-fied and it, it, it's a pretty normal photo right um it, it's pretty normal what do you think pokimane's reaction was to that photo take a guess she blocked pilgrim which in the end it deleted the work of art that pilgrim had done nothing else has happened for a few days until an account called raw meat 42 tweeted out i got an email this morning for a dmca takedown of the image you may be thinking how do you know it was pokimane well because in the dmca it gives you a reporter info to counter the claim the account later on posted the proof that they got emailed onto twitter my client posted an original photograph to her twitter account on on uh, on january 11th 2024 several twitter accounts are unlawfully editing the photo of my client to make her look black or chinese using racial stereotypes to depict my client now i, I don't know if this person who sent the dmca is a troll or, or if this is actually a lawyer who pokemon hired or if it, or if it's one of her simplers trying to scare off anyone who posts the picture but i got two things to say number no, no. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say this video won't get stuck. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say this video won't get copyright striked by Pokimane. I, I, I mean, what could possibly be so harmful from a small channel putting that image here? It's not like this video is gonna get millions of views and hopefully make Pokimane notice me. I secretly want that. If Pokimane sees this, Pokimane, I am your biggest fan. I am your number one simp lord. I am the simp lord. And I will always be your simp lord. <laughs> God, that was stupid. Bro, that, that, that post note clarity hit me like a truck. And now, numero dos. This is even more stupider than what I just said. This behavior... This behavior doesn't surprise me from her. After all, this is the this is common behavior from Pokimane herself. She is the type of woman that if you give her the slightest insult, she's gonna get super butthurt. And the first thing she's gonna do is call out her simp army. The, every, all of them. The, tiers, the, the tier 3 simp lords that live under their mom's basement. She's gonna command them to spit at you and later on fart at you. And then after that, she'll deplatform you. For nothing. A 27 year old grown ass woman with the mindset of a six year old. That's pretty much Pokemon for you. So if she's capable of the platforming people, then she's also capable of hiring a lawyer to take down those accounts that post that image of her. That does no harm whatsoever towards Pokemon. It's so illogical. Like, like what the fuck, bro? <laughs> but that, that's just a theory. It, we don't know who the person who sent that email is. We don't know who, who, he, who even that is. Um, yeah. Um, but I mean, we all know Pilgrim. He's the type of dude that if he received a DMCA, he would just turn it 
black or Chinese. And the moral of the story is just turn everything black or Chinese. That's the solution to our existential problems right there. If you got cancer, just turn it black or Chinese. If you if you get homeless, just turn it black or Chinese. If a dolphin throws you a refrigerator at you in the middle of the morning while you're at, at, at while you're at your patio, just turn it black or Chinese. It's simple, bro. And now if you excuse me, I'm going to turn myself black and Chinese and watch some Pokémon videos. I peace.